Hey guys, thank you for clicking on this video. Above the video you will see a subscribe button. If you click it and subscribe then you will be able to keep up with my tutorials. Also make sure that at the end of this video you leave a like and if you really like the video then leave a favorite. Alright, enjoy the video. Hey what's going on guys, Darius here and um, today I will be walking you through the process of uh, the making of um, a lot on my head manipulation that I did today. Um, and judging by the fact that I haven't made a uh, photo manipulation in about a month or even more, I don't remember, um, I think it came out alright. I mean, <laughs> uh, I could do better, obviously, but, you know, I'm just like testing my skills, still see if I still got it, you know. <laughs> but um, yeah, let's see what exactly I did uh, in this tutorial. Um, I it, it did in this manipulation, and this is um, not a t actual tutorial. Like I'm not going to do the steps that I'm going to show you. Uh, you guys are gonna do it. <laughs> um, but I'm going to explain, you know, like what I did and the resources that I added and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, <laughs> I'm going to give you guys the uh, PSD in the description so you can open it in Photoshop and, uh, you know, like check it out yourselves. Um, okay, so uh, let's zoom in a bit and see what exactly we have um, inside this manipulation. So we have um, some nice eyes that uh, actually the eyes uh, were a copy of the... Um, the aquarium that's on her head um, and yeah we're gonna see those two um, we got some fish some um, turtle some uh, squids no that's not a squid that's I, I, I forget the name we got some branches a big bowl and uh, yeah some uh, water coming out of her nose and her mouth uh, yeah let's see we got some stars in the background some birds the Sun um, you know, like a, an environment inside um, and some vegetation and stuff. Uh, let's check out what's in the uh, PSD. So, um, oh, by the way, the girl, the face of the girl that I use is this one. It's uh, Nick X Stock. You can find her on uh, DeviantArt. Um, and yeah, she looks hot. <laughs> um, okay, let's check out the PSD. I'm just going to open my Photoshop and. Uh, there we go. Another error. Don't mind that. It just appears randomly when I start Photoshop. Just don't mind it. <laughs> uh, and let's check out um, the layers that we have and see what exactly I did here. Come on. Okay, there we go. Um, so on top of everything, I have the uh, final image, obviously, because if I wanted to, for example, sharpen it, I would like just zoom in and grab my sharpen tool. Uh, there we go. Um, hey, the quality is actually better. I need to save my images in PNG sometimes because uh, the JPEGs are like low quality. So, okay, let's see if, um, you know, like if I want to sharpen the eyes, you know, look at that, just adding more detail, make, making it more crisp. Uh, I could just do that uh, with the final image. And I just went here to image and then apply image. You guys know that. You've been watching my tutorials. <laughs> um, let me just undo that. There we go. Um, and we are going to unhide, no, we are going to hide the layers uh, one by one and see what we have here. So, first layer is the top image. Then we have the extra highlights, and I just added these recently. Um, and, you know, just to make the uh, the aquarium, the bowl on her head, look more um, spheric, like it's actually round. Um, gonna remove those and uh, then we have uh, the watermark you know Darius and uh, Baka Arts you know just linking people to my channel <laughs> um, what else let me just oops there we go uh, okay watermark then we got some shade and this is what we used uh, that what I used um, to you know just darken the edges a bit and uh, it's just a big uh, I just grabbed a big uh, soft brush, black soft brush, and just brushed around the sides like this, but with black, obviously. I'm going to hide it, and then we have some stars, you know, looks cool. Looks even cooler without, but hey, 
who cares <laughs> it looks cool with the stars too so why not just slap them in and this is actually just a star stock and star stock and let me just put it on normal as you can see and i just put it on screen and it looks cool because you only see the light uh and the all the black that was in the background it just disappears i'm gonna hide the stars and then we have another copy of the final image as i said before i could add some extra stuff like the shades and stuff i'm going to uh, hide that and uh, then we got some raindrops but you guys don't see it well unless you zoom in we, these are actually the ones that are on the left side of the bowl see boop and i'm going to hide these and then we have the clouds obviously i use some cloud brushes uh the crowd crowd brushes lol um cloud brushes uh you can just google for cloud brushes you will find a ton of them uh let's see see cloud um uh yeah let's hide that too then we have some birds there we go gonna hide that too and uh, this is a light that i put above it's a um it's a big light opacity 26 let's remember that if i put it to 100 you can see that it's uh it's brighter and it's also on overlay you know just to make it more bluish uh, i'm gonna hide that and then we have the smoke now you may have thought that this is water coming from her nose and then from her mouth and just uh, going down it looks like water and it should look like water and it's obviously that you would think that it's water but it's actually some smoke stocks that i use to um make it look like water like a waterfall you know um coming from her nose and mouth i'm gonna hide these here check that out and now we can see her teeth <laughs> and um by the way uh the girl wasn't symmetrical so i grabbed half the half the face and i duplicated it and I merge them together. If you can, if you look closely here, the teeth are oddly shaped. Like there's one in the middle, but you can't see it because there's water, you know. <laughs> but uh, this face is absolutely symmetrical. Um, okay. Um, next, what do we have? What is this? Oh, this is the um, highlights. These are the highlights that I added um, on the uh, castle. So you know the light, just. Uh, shines on the castle it just hits um on the edges of the castle um okay let's hide this too uh these are the eyes these are the original eyes of the girl as you can see but i added you know the aquarium because yeah it looks cooler you know let me see okay oh i, I hid them there you go see aquarium nice <laughs> and obviously i added some shades inside these are the shades see these are without the shades and these are with the shades i just grabbed a soft brush uh, let me just grab one right now and i added it inside you know right, like right now it's too dark and i just added you know like soft in the edges so it, it just gives it a bit of depth and uh it looks cool <laughs> i like how it looks with the aquarium eyes Woo. Um, then we have the ear trees <laughs> yeah I rename my groups uh, really weird uh, we got the trees that are basically coming from the ears and uh, then we have the fizz what is this fizz oh it's on her face right here next to the mouth because it looks well with um, with the smoke you know that's coming out of the mouth um, so I just added you know like some extra detail you know just to finish it up uh then we have the main render there we go see this is what's this is what's behind the manipulation i don't want that this doesn't look good as a photo manipulation but if it's behind you know like a head no one cares you don't see it um <laughs> uh yeah this is the girl render I added some shades and stuff this would be the original image but then i edited it i added some uh, shading here and there you know uh what's this oh yeah uh, extra shading some textures you know just give it a bit more uh texture <laughs> i'm gonna hide the mm, should i hide it yeah no i'm gonna keep it um branches right the branches are coming from the girl's uh head yeah 
from behind the head you know it's hidden behind the face um, I'm gonna hide these and uh, next we have the bowl which is the most important part uh, now I made a copy of the group with the bowl like I put the entire bowl on one layer with the apply image thingy um, and I added some extra effects let me just hide the effects and it's not much you know just a bit of shading you know some awesome stuff <laughs> um, and I'm going to hide this because I'm going to unhide the original uh, which is this one here and it's a lot of things like this this took me a while look at all these layers uh, we got the glass sphere uh, let me just see if you can get, if you can see it uh, oh yeah there it is it's it's coming along yeah so I use this glass sphere um, as a render like I, I just Google for a glass uh, sphere and I just kept adding elements to it like I added some uh, some water some background you know like this uh, what is this underwater uh, thingy oops okay I can move it thank you Photoshop um, yeah I added some uh, blue water on top you know just to give it the underwater look some plants some uh, moss you know some green moss there you go you know just uh, to add a bit more uh, color just to pop it out uh, the castle obviously and I don't know why it's darkened right now <laughs> um, uh, then what's this yeah some plants obviously and obviously shading on the bowl you must have that you know so the light just uh, shows frontally and in the back and it's it's more darker you know just to give it a, a bit more realism stuff <laughs> um, then I added some lights you know I added this uh, blue paint you know like with the brush tool I just brushed randomly uh, just to cover the majority of the bowl with blue and then uh, I put it on soft light with opacity 74 if I put it on normal you guys can see that uh, you know just just blue and I can just put it up and I just with this uh, with this blue here on soft light I managed to give um, the things that are in the bowl uh, a nice and bluish tone I could have used an, uh, I could have used um, you know like effects I could have used uh, some curves but yeah <laughs> I'm lazy sometimes um, okay so that's the bowl you know just added random elements inside some well not actually not actually random like I coordinated the plants and stuff um, what else let's hide the bowl no actually I think we're almost done um, the background the background is just some blue lights <laughs> we just put it on 100% opacity and then normal so you can see see it's just blue and I just put it on um, an overlay and opacity 44 and I just gave the background like a um, a bluish kind of look um, so it fits well it, it looks like the light is coming from the bowl and it's just reflecting on the background and as you can see here there are clouds in the background um, you know I'm just adding clouds <laughs> because uh, it looks cool why not oh here's the sphere nice see it's a big one um, let me just hide that the background is typical uh, black and grayish background I use the gradient um, you know and just, just play around with stuffs i I write my ideas on paper uh, and then I just do them and who <laughs> we just don't hit a lot of stuff there okay so um i i hope you guys uh, understood what i did i mean i think i was pretty explanatory uh let me just show you guys how i did the highlights on um on the the branches uh, let's see smoke uh, no oh stupid fizz go away what is this fizz is it layer 30 I think yeah layer 30 I'm just call it fizz because it would be embarrassing if I give you the uh, the PSD and then you guys don't even know uh, <laughs> which layer is which uh, yeah fizz all right uh, where are the branches are these yeah these are the branches awesome 
uh, the back I gotta hide the back back means backup so I just um, you know left some backups uh, in case I mess up with uh, the other uh, renders and stuff branches let me see highlights are these the highlights yeah, so um, the highlights on the branches are these, and I just like grab the mouse, and then I sample the color, or I grab some blue from here, and I chose a uh, low size um, soft brush, and I made a clipping mask to the uh, branches, and I just started, you know, like to paint over the branches, like where where I think that the light would hit. And then I put it on overlay, and then I made a copy of it on overlay. And uh, obviously, I wasn't this sloppy, but um, in the end, it came out well. I um, usually use a tablet for this, but right now I am just super lazy, and I don't wanna. And yeah, the end result, I think it looks fantastic. Okay, I can't praise myself. You guys, you guys say uh, what you wanna say. Um, you guys evaluate the work that I do and if you like it okay if you don't then hey shit happens <laughs> I can uh, probably improve um, yeah so this manipulation is called um, a lot on my head and uh, I hope you enjoyed the video cheers